Welcome to Hungry Gen, and right now it's time to share some of the amazing testimonies that we have prepared for you. And I am so excited because this is the time where we not only hear but see the move of God and what God is doing in people's lives. First of all, if you, um, I'm going to invite uh, Linda up to the stage. If you can please come up here. I know that she already shared a couple of times this testimony, but today is a special, special time that she's going to be sharing because she has actually a medical report approved from the doctor of her healing that happened. And Linda, thank you so much for coming and be willing again and again to share this amazing healing that happened in your life. Would you please uh, start with uh, what's your name, where are you from, and what was the problem that you had? I'm uh, Linda Lampton. I live in Benton City, Washington. And in 2012, I was diagnosed with sleep apnea. And that's where you get, you go get tested to see how you're sleeping and if you're not, if you're not waking up when breathing and stuff. And you're hooked up with a machine and a bunch of stuff. And that's where I found out. Um, I was actually dying quite a few times during the middle of the night. Uh, so that's where that started. And then um, a couple of years ago, my, my daughter brought me here and I got delivered uh, from a demon who was bringing that on. And since his removal, the sleep apnea has left. And I just got, the te I got set up with another doctor to do the sleep test here a month ago, and I just did the test two weeks ago, got the results this last week, and the doctor did not believe what I told him when I uh, went in to see him. I said, I don't have sleep apnea anymore. And he goes, it never goes away. It never goes away. It's always there. You're going to be on the machine for the rest of your life. Excuse me, before we go on, I would like to actually go back a little bit and uh, would you please share with us uh, the, the severity of this sickness that you had, that you have been diagnosed uh, in 2012 and how was it affecting your nights? I know that you had to sleep with this huge machine that was helping you breathe and uh, how many times a night that there was a possibility for you to stop breathing completely and pass? Every, about every minute, I stopped breathing 27 times in that minute. So you times that by 60 minutes, and then you times that by an hour, and then you go that by the uh, eight-hour sleep. I, I lost a lot of life because I wasn't sleeping well because of it. And I could have died any time during any of those episodes. And, um, yeah scary and this is terrible uh, knowing that you constantly have to have this machine plugged up to you during the night and sleep with the mask on I bet that's uncomfortable either it, it was very uncomfortable um, because I worked with masks out at uh, out where I worked at uh, during the time but um, yes it's when you have to roll over, it's you have to figure out how to roll with the hose so you don't strangle yourself because you got this and then you got another wire that's monitoring everything else. And uh, it's, and there was one time I literally took the whole mask off and threw the machine against the wall because I was going, I didn't know I, w I'm, I was asleep, but I just <laughs> checked it. <laughs> Wow. Um, Linda, before you uh, came to church, your daughter brought you, you received salvation. You also received uh, prayer for deliverance and healing at the, one of our prayer lines. And we know that the evil spirit manifested at that point and you received deliverance. And how did, it, how did you know that you received your healing after uh, the prayer? I put my hands in God and I said, okay. You took care of this mean entity in me that's been tormenting me for a long time. I said, I'm in your, your hands. You're, my, you're doing the driving. And he said, don't put the mask on. Don't put it on tonight. Don't put it on ever again. I trusted in that face that, from that point forward. So you came home and you did not put the mask on. How did you sleep uh, the, the nights after that? I have slept 
I've gotten six and a half hours of sleep every night since. And then uh, this with the new test was even longer than that. So. so in your hand right now, you are holding a medical report that is proving that you have no longer uh, sleep apnea, correct? Yes. Would you please share with us, what does it say? And when you went to the doctor, what happened? What, what does this say here? Uh, this is all of the information that they get from the wires that they hook up on your head. And you sleep with this, all of these wires hooked up to you. Tests your heart, monitors your heart, monitors your oxygen intake and, and, and everything. And a couple of them monitor your, your eyes for when you go into REM sleep. And that's where you need to get to. When you don't reach that, that's where you're somewhere you're not sleeping well. The sleep apnea messes that up and you never get into there. And on this, I'm going to, uh, okay, this line right in here, right in here, this is where the sleep apnea would show up. There's nothing going on. There's no stopping. Yeah. There's nothing. There's absolutely nothing. And that, that totally shocked the doctor. So when you... Uh came to receive your papers that you don't have uh, sleep apnea anymore. Uh, tell a little bit about your conversation with the doctor you mentioned to me. It's really amazing. Okay. So back in April, I met this doctor for the first time at the, the clinic. And I told him, I said, I don't have sleep apnea anymore. And he goes, it will never go away. It never leaves. And you will be on the machine for the rest of your life. And so he set me up for the sleep apnea test two weeks ago. Got that done. And uh, just this last week on Wednesday, I went and got the results. And he's sitting there. He comes, gets me, sits down at his desk. And he goes, you don't need the machine anymore. It's gone. And he showed me the line. And he goes, it's completely gone. What have you been doing? I said, I gave myself to God. That's where it's at. You believe you have to have it here and here and give it back to God. Your, your hand, he's your steering wheel. He's guiding you. He's driving your car. Wow, what an amazing testimony, Linda. We give all glory to God for this wonderful proved by doctors healing that took place. Uh, so how long it's been since uh, you've been healed now? Um... Uh, let's see, five years. Five years, and you have not been struggling nor wearing the sleep apnea machine during the night. I haven't touched it, nothing for over five years. So yeah, since I've been here, got the demon removed and everything. Yeah, it, it's been, yes! Sleep is, I know what sleep is. Yeah. Wow, this is so amazing. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. We are so happy for you, Linda. Keep walking with the Lord and in your healing in Jesus' name. Thank you. Wow, what an amazing testimony. Uh, we just thank God one more time for this powerful testimony. And we believe in healing. We believe in deliverance. But we believe in the one who heals and delivers more. Because he brings the goodness to his people, to his children. And he desires to heal you. I believe that our God is good and he still heals. And every time our pastors pray for healing, we encourage you to participate. Because this is an example of what God is doing in Jesus' name.